And uh, now, uh, why don't uh, you proceed to the second presentation? Now, our, uh, now our next next speaker is uh, Dr. Muhammad Yabait Abzal. He is currently working as an assistant professor of physics in the Department of Physics, head QEC Gov Islamia Graduate College, a civil lines Lahore, Pakistan. He is specialized in physics focused in biomedical and medical engineering. Uh, the title of uh, his presentation is uh, Phase Simulation of Bicompatible Micromodel. Uh, please uh, go ahead, please, Professor. Uh, hello. Uh, uh, am I audible? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Can I? Can I share my screen now? Yes, yes, we can. Please go ahead. Can you see my screen now? Yes, we can see. Uh, actually, I want to record it. So, where is the option to record it okay okay uh, thanks for the invitation and uh, dr pokowski uh, has given me the task to uh, present my research work in the International Scientific Conference, Health and Lifestyle of a Contemporary Human Being. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbi shurah li sadri wa yassir li amdi. My Lord, expand for me to my breast with assurance and ease for me my task. Wahlu luqdatan min lisani yafahu qawli. And untie the knot from my tongue that they may understand my speech. So with the name of uh, our creator, I have to start this. Uh, it's the, the topic is fuzzy simulation of biocompatible microneedle. And it is presented by me, Dr. Muhammad Jawed Afzal. I am the head of QEC, Government Islamia Graduate College, Civil Lines Lahore. So first of all, uh, I want to give the introduction about the microneedles. Microneedles or uh, microneedle patches, or we can call it microarray patches, are micron scaled medical devices used to administer vaccines, drugs, and other peptic agents. While microneedles were initially explored for a transdermal drug delivery application, their use has been extended for the intraocular, vaginal, transungal, cardiac, vascular, and gastrointestinal and intracochlear delivery of drugs. So they are actually a tiny needles, small enough that they are measured in millionth of a meter, means micro. And it is, they are designed to deliver medicines usually for vaccinations, etc. And so I have all tell you this. The micro needles range in size, shape, and function, but are all used as an alternative to other delivery methods, like the conventional hypodermic needle or other injection apparatus. So, uh, microneedles were first mentioned in 1998 paper by the research group headed by Mark Francois at the Georgia Institute of Technology that demonstrated that microneedles could penetrate the uppermost layer. Subsequent research into microneedle drug delivery has explored the medical and cosmetic applications of this technology through its design. So, microneedles were first conceptualized for drug delivery many decades ago. I have told it's 1998. So, microneedles can, can be classified into four types. The uh, microneedles you are looking at it, these are the microneedles. Um, actually, uh, I am very afraid of injection. Uh, in my childhood. So I got this idea that it is the just the penetration on the upper skin. So so we have the four types, solid microneedles, coated microneedles, hollow microneedles, and the dissolving microneedles. 
So, if we can see the solid microneedle, so this is the solid microneedle. You can see in the picture that uh, uh, the injection, the needle of the injection is penetrating much more than this uh, microneedle. So, it is not for the uh, I mean, a, a, a patient is very ill and uh, uh, he needs an injection. So, but this kind of material is only used for the vaccines. So, it, it because it can penetrate only in the skin. So, solid microneedles it punctures the surface of the skin and applies the drug to the skin layer, allowing the drug slowly diffuse through the holes. It has the advantage of preventing pathogenic infection, but the drug delivery effect is very low. So, the next one is the micro, a coated micro needle. So, this is the coated micro needle. This is the same image, 200 micrometer in size. So, it is typically coated with the water soluble drug. Micro needle is attached to the skin, the drug is quickly delivered to the skin. And then the micro needle is removed. It has an advantage of delivering a very small fixed amount of drug. But the remaining micro needle tips are dangerous because they can infect other people. So, we have to. Uh, waste it all. So, micro needles are long enough to cross the uh, stratum corineum, but not so long that they stimulate nerves which are located deeper in the tissues and therefore cause no or the very little pain. The next one is the dissolving micro needle. Uh, unlike other types of micro needles, the dissolving micro needles are made of water soluble material. When the micro needle is pushed into the skin, micro needle melts in the skin, releasing the drug in the micro needle. So these are the dissolving micro needles and they are very perfect. Uh, what about the hollow micro needles? These are kind of hollow micro needles and I'm uh, working on it for the fabrication of this type of micro needle actually. So it is very similar to a conventional string of short length in shape, allowing liquid medication to be injected directly into the skin layer. So, since the antigen present presenting cells are largely distributed in the skin, the benefits of vaccines are ever greater when using microneedles. So, these are the types of the microneedles. So, here I have the uh, picture of all the microneedles. The first one is the solid microneedle and we have to remove it. In this, in this we have to remove it all. Then the coated microneedle, we have to remove this also after the penetration of the skin and the injection, uh, injecting the drugs. Dissolving microneedle after the uh, penetration, we can remove only the cover because all other microneedles are dissolved in the skin. And this is the hollow microneedle. And we can, uh, uh, we can, uh, we can deliver the drug here, uh, which is shown in the yellow color to the skin. So this is these, these are the four micro needles. So I want to simulate it uh, with the fuzzy logic simulation because uh, we always do uh, the simulation first and then the fabrication. So the fabrication cost would uh, can be minimized. So uh, with the help of ANSYS and the fuzzy logic, I am used to simulate all the things before the fabrication and the practical applications. So uh, what is uh, Fuzzy logic is an approach to computing uh, based on degrees of truth rather than the usual true or false, as we, ha we can have in Boolean logic, one or zero, on which the modern computer is based. On which the modern computer is based. The idea of fuzzy logic was first advanced by Lofty Zadeh, Lofty Zadeh of the University of California, Berkeley in the 1960s. So, actually this logic, the fuzzy logic is a form of many valued logic in which the truth table of variables may be any real number between 0 and 1. It is employed to handle the concept of partial truth, where the truth value um, may range between completely true and completely false. So, it does not require any, any mathematical equation. We just want to uh, put the number of rules here, which can be completely false and can be completely 
true. So by contrast, in Boolean logic, the truth values of variables may only be the integer value 0 or 1. So in order, in our day today, life we might face situations where we are unable to determine whether the state is true or false. So fuzzy, the word fuzzy refers to something which is unclear or vague. So fuzzy logic in artificial intelligence provides valuable flexibility of reasoning. And in this article, we will learn about this, this logic and its implementation in this uh, simulation of the micrometer. So generally, we use the fuzzy logic system for both commercial and practical purposes, such as it can control the machines and consumer products. It, uh, if not accurate reasoning, is it at least provides an acceptable reasoning. This helps in dealing with the uncertainty or in engineering. So now that you know about fuzzy logic in artificial intelligence, and why do we actually use it? Let's move on and understand the architecture of this logic. So uh, when I uh, have used this FLC simulation for the uh, means fuzzy logic controller simulation for the biocompatible microneedle, because we always uh, uh, looked about for the biocompatibility uh, of the microneedle that we, we uh, humans can uh, can cause any infection if we if we cannot use any biocompatible microneedle. So these microneedles should be biocompatible means we can use polymers, we can use PDMS, we can use gold, we can use silver. So these are the biocompatible materials. So we want to fabricate these types of biocompatible microneedles. So we can use it any type of experts. So in this research, solid microneedles using gold material or silver or any other material, I can use it because they are biocompatible. So fuzzy conditions are considered to be as, as accurate as the ideal conditions. They are more dependable as they can give finite values between 0 and 1. So in this diagram, you can, uh, you can clearly observe that there are two input voltage, two, two inputs and one output. Voltage and the time are the inputs and the tip thickness, how much thickness should be the micro needle. This is the output. So it, it, it helps in the fabrication actually. So, we have the membership functions because we are always used membership functions in this uh, simulation. This is the input variable time, short, medium and large. I mean, it means we can uh, uh, save time by shorting it and we, can, we have to increase the voltage then, the fabrication time. Then the, there was, we have the voltage, low, average, and high. These are the three membership functions. For tip thickness, which is a micrometer, we can uh, have the thick, average, and the sharp. So these are the membership pinch functions used in the simulation. Then we have a rule waiver. This is the rule waiver. Rule table is designed using three formulated membership functions. And the formula is the membership functions power input means we have three membership functions and its power is two. So three raised to the power two is equal to nine. So nine rules uh, I have made for this simulation. Uh, uh, and, and we get the uh, rule waiver. This is the rule waiver which is made by the if and then statement. So rule waiver is evaluated here. We got the voltage level is at 20.5. Time is 17.5 seconds. And tip thickness we get 27 point. So this tip, tip thickness will help us in the fabrication. In this uh, in micrometer size, we have to make the tip thickness. And uh, in the literature, we have all the thickness values. How much uh, uh, thickness should be uh, a microneedle has for the penetration in this skin? So we have the graphical results. We have the graphical results in these results. This, these are the, this is the result, a two dimensional result between time and the tip thickness. This is the result between the voltage and the tip thickness. And this is the 3D because MATLAB can create the 3D image because we can see the time, voltage and the tip thickness. Both can vary and tip, tip, tip thicknesses can vary. So, uh, 
uh, then uh, i have uh, uh, I, I have used mamdani's model for the verification of my simulation so for more from mamdani's model we have a typical equations i have to find out the k1 k2 k3 and k4 for the 20.5 value voltage and 17.5 seconds i have used to calculate the tip thickness and when i can apply the formula and uh, the, the other methods the mamdani results it is they are calculated and are uh, deliberated in the table so here the crisp values of micro needle tip because in the fuzzy values i have two crisp values 20.5 voltage and 17.5 seconds and we get the tip thickness so the difference between the simulation and the mangani model results has been calculated using the mathematical expression and displayed in the table so by by using mangani's model i have calculated 27.3 micrometer with the mathematical steps and uh, this is the results description mamdani model value matlab simulation difference and the percent data so tip diameter according to the mamdani value because of the mathematical steps we got 27.3 micrometer and with the help of fuzzy simulation matlab simulation it will be uh, it was to 27.2 micro and the difference is only 0.1 So percentage error is just zero point three six percent. It means the accuracy of this simulation. So we can fabricate it all. So by concluding, I want to conclude my presentation now. Two input variable times and voltage are taken. This is a fuzzy logic control systems are obtained through MATLAB simulation. Sharpness of tip is analyzed. Thickness of the tip is analyzed. But how much sharp micro needle will be achieved, which is suitable for drug delivery after the completion and the difference considered here and in, in the design and simulated result is just the 0.36% and it shows the precision of my fuzzy logic control system so actually uh, Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, uh, Professor. Uh, you ask about uh, recording. Uh, we can uh, send you after the conference uh, all record, or you uh, want maybe only your presentation. I, I I don't understand exactly. Okay, I want to record, but I I cannot record here. If you have record all the presentation, then you can send me. email address because i have to show it to my um, students so they can uh, have an idea how to present the research work in international conference so we will send you uh, by email it will be okay 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 it will be okay. thank you thank you thank you very much and uh, the next presentation um, i would like to introduce 